Good afternoon, everyone. This is a tropical update for September 1st, 2022. Tropical storm Danielle has now formed in the northern Atlantic. We still do have the two tropical disturbances here in the main development region. The Invest 91L that has now a 70% chance of cyclone formation in five days. And we also do have Disturbance 2, which is now Invest 94L, I do believe, uh, just over the Cabo Verde Islands right now. Only has a 20% chance now of cyclone formation in five days. Let's go on and keep you updated here on Tropical Storm Danielle. And this uh, is uh, quite far north in the Atlantic. And it is actually in quite cool waters uh, for it to be in a tropical storm. As you can see here, we do have a lot of circulation with this. We have a lot of convection. We can clearly see that center right in there. And we have all of these mid-level clouds that are just wrapping around this. This is how we can tell this is definitely a tropical storm. And this is why they did name it Danielle, which means our next storm would be Earl if Invest 91L uh, does decide to develop into a tropical storm later on in its lifetime. Here's the official forecast cone uh, for tropical storm Danielle. And this is actually gonna do kind of a U-turn. Right now it's kind of stalling out in the middle of the Atlantic, but soon it will become a hurricane according to the National Hurricane Center forecast as it stalls out because it is going to have a lot of time to develop into a hurricane uh only a category one hurricane it is forecasted as of right now uh but that could be upgraded in future outlooks i don't know just a maybe there but again uh we could see a hurricane here uh as soon as uh 3 p.m thursday or as soon as 12 p.m saturday we could see that hurricane status just because again it's just going to be stalling out here in this little spot here's the five day graphical tropical weather outlook here is tropical storm Daniel all the way up there uh just west of those islands i'm not sure what the name of those islands are but the islands that are just west of europe uh where typical shipping of cargo ships uh, do have that area where they transport from europe to united states so that's where tropical storm danielle is right now and it is expected to head to the northeast uh over this weekend we do have invest 91l right now still east of the lesser antilles it hasn't even really moved much uh it is moving really slow here it does have a 70 percent chance of a cyclone formation of five days that they they did slightly lower that because of wind shear and dry air concerns uh that it, it is definitely still very possible for it to form into a tropical storm or tropical depression uh, but just a less chance uh, for that development and we did have actually a 50% chance of development within that disturbance here north of the Cabo Verde Islands and it has a uh, really sunk down deep and it is now a 20% chance of a cyclone formation in five days again to mainly for those dry air concerns here's a tropical storm Daniel model intensity guidance uh, and like I said in the forecast uh, that they they are expecting a hurricane out of this. I'm definitely not surprised here as a lot of these models are going into a category one hurricane. We could possibly even see a category two hurricane possible within some of those models there. Even one, the DSHP model, which is a low end around mid and category three hurricane, which is very interesting here as it was really far north in the atlantic they don't really see hurricanes up farthest north and usually they become a tropical storm if they're already hurricane uh, once they do go into those cooler waters let's look at the latest gfs run model and this is the 12z run and let's go ahead and move forward let's get right into it here as you can see we have that forming into a hurricane here by saturday up there invest or tropical storm danielle it is now and as you can see we start to see development here by september 4th of Invest 91L that could possibly become Tropical Storm Earl here by next week. And as you can see, this really strengthens up here in the Northern Atlantic. And this even gets down to 969 millibars by 126 hours out. That's by Tuesday of 12 p.m. Two fish storm hurricanes going on at the same time here. We could possibly see. And this uh, possibly even undergoes a rapid intensification in the middle of the uh, middle of the Atlantic. This is about 6 p.m. here of uh, September 7th. Then we go to 12 a.m. of September 8th, only around six hours apart. 
and we get down from 986 millibars to a whopping 959 millibars. That is uh, definitely a very insane rapid intensification that does actually happen. Uh, and as we move forward, it does stay around there, which is a very strong hurricane that we could be seeing here. Possibly another tropical disturbance here uh, and that could be forming here off of uh, this one. As you can see, another low pressure system actually uh, just right next to around September 7th, which looking back at this, it, uh, that might actually be a 965 millibars, but it, I can't really see it very well, but that uh, definitely could be some rapid intensification going on there as it is still in those warmer waters here uh, by September 8th. And both of those head northeast, as you can see, they generally weaken as they head that far north. But look at that. We even have some sort of combination of the two low pressure systems up here. We have this one, which could still be a tropical storm by then, September 10th. That could be bringing impacts to Nova Scotia as well. Uh, so very interesting here. As you can see, that one combines with a low pressure system as well. And just kind of circulates around each other like a Fujiwaha effect that we were expecting to see in 2020 with Laura and uh, some other hurricane. But as you can see, again, uh, very interesting here of what's going to happen here in uh, early September. And just more low pressure systems, not much in the MDR for the GFS model for the rest of the uh, from now until middle September until after Invest 91L and the other tropical disturbance. Uh, but again, uh, which again, like I said, we could see high pressure system uh, that's going to be forming in this type of area that may guide it here into the Caribbean and possibly uh, could have a chance at a Caribbean tropical storm or something around middle September. So we're going to have to watch out for that. We've seen multiple models hinting towards something like that happening. But pretty much the same opinion uh, as GFS model on tropical storm Danielle. But definitely they are not agreeing on Invest 91L developing. If you did enjoy the tropical update here on tropical storm Danielle. Again, Danielle is not going to bring any impacts here uh, to any land anytime soon. And Invest 91L will be expected uh, to be going to the northeast, not bringing impacts as well. But uh, it is still a little early to tell if this is actually going to go to the northeast. But it, because if we do actually look at the European model, this still stays in the Caribbean here by uh, September 8th. It is still in the Caribbean. It may not be showing up there on the actual model, but you can still see a low pressure system making it a very close call to the, to Puerto Rico uh, as it's just a little rainmaker. But the Euro does have some signs here that that will stay in the in the Caribbean here, so we will have to watch that closely. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you are new, so you won't miss a single tropical update from me. And also turn off all notifications; you will get a notification every time I upload a latest uh, update on the tropics. Uh, share this video with any friends or family. We want the latest updates here on the tropics every single day. As always, I'll see you in the next one and stay safe.